Let's talk about some important do's and don'ts for your thyroid disorder. Hi, my name is Sheba and I'm here to talk to you about your thyroid health. Super recently, I was on TikTok Live and someone actually asked me a question. They asked me, what is one do and one don't that you would recommend to someone or you would advise to someone who is dealing with their thyroid health? So I thought, why not make this into a video and potentially help more of you guys out with this answer? A very, very important do that I would heavily recommend anyone who's watching this video do is if you are experiencing a shift or change in your body, it could be physical with your body weight, your body composition. Maybe you are noticing a sudden gain of weight, sudden drop in weight. You're noticing a puffier face, puffier abdomen. You're noticing hair fall, dry skin. You're experiencing other physical symptoms where you're lethargic, your body is aching, you don't have energy. Maybe you're experiencing a shift in your mental health. You're not feeling as excitable or energetic you may be experiencing mild or severe symptoms of depression you might even be experiencing a shift in your libido these are all cause for alarm please go and talk to your doctor about conducting a full blood panel which essentially means it's just a much more comprehensive blood test that will give you more insight and information not only into deficiencies in micronutrients in your body which is crucial to understanding some of the symptoms you're experiencing but it can also give you a better understanding of what is going on with your thyroid health now if you've already had a blood test done please ensure you are getting regular blood work done at least once a year to know where your body at how your body is doing I call your blood test sort of like the treasure map to your body's well-being it really kind of can mark the spot in terms of you know where is X at where is that treasure we have to find where do you have to dig a bit deeper to really understand the key to your optimal health so understanding where your deficiencies are can give you insight into the supplements you might need to eat the foods you are lacking in your diet and help you understand oh this is where this symptom is coming from i have a deficiency in vitamin d maybe that's why i'm feeling so lethargic so these can be really crucial in helping you understand your body as a whole and what is a don't a big 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 very important don't for anyone watching this video is please do not punish yourself any further for the changes you are experiencing. Self care and your mental health and emotional well-being is so crucial not only just for your thyroid health but for your own overall well-being often i see especially with women we tend to punish ourselves a lot when it comes to our physical body the way that we look often also because we get a lot of feedback from people on our bodies a shift in our weight and it can be quite burdensome please understand your body is going through a lot when there is a thyroid disorder your thyroid can impact so many elements of your physical well-being your emotional well-being which in turn can affect your personal life your relationships your work and even your own relationship with yourself please 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 try and be kinder to yourself understand that there is a change in your body that might be happening physically emotionally mentally but it is not permanent there are so many people i am sure just like myself who are doing our due diligence to provide you guys with answers to do the research for you so that we all as a community with thyroid disorders can understand better what is happening with our body and the change is there. I like to think of myself as proof. I am really happy with the fact that my thyroid levels have balanced out, but I really think back to the first few years where I really was punishing myself for everything I was feeling and experiencing also because I didn't understand 
understand that was that it was happening because of my thyroid disorder i want you guys to know that you are not alone in the symptoms you're experiencing you are not alone in feeling the things that you are and you have a right to feel sad you have a right to feel lost and confused but you also have every single damn right under this sun to feel loved, beautiful, strong, and appreciative of who you are, of the things you are conquering every single day, of the things you have overcome in your life, and this will be one of those things. Please know that if you ever have any questions, you have anything you would like to talk about, you can always reach out to me. Feel free to leave a comment here. You can DM me on Instagram. I'm xshibax across all platforms. I am going to continue to do my level best to give you guys all the information that I can. I'm sharing not only my own journey with you, but also the research that I'm doing as well. Until next time, don't forget to love yourself, be kind to yourself and think strong always. Bye.